Hey, what's going on YouTube? Donna coming to you from Motor Land Speed today. As promised a few weeks ago, um, I got the drift bit in from the guys in, uh, over at Battleist, and um, I'm up here to test it. Been crazy busy at the shop, and uh, I've been spending to do this about the last three weeks. So anyway, um, it's a little bit backwards. I already done the testing and everything due to time constraints. <laughs> Initially, just get right into it. The device had some little bugs and everything that I had to work out. And it was more so my own Android device. Um, for the guys I have talked to offline, um, they will be developing an Apple Apple uh, device for Apple guys. So you don't got to go and buy Android and get get infected with all those Android cooties and stuff like that. This will be in Drifting Goku pretty soon with my Snowy Kawashi driving and testing with his uh, v V8 uh, supercharged S15. <laughs> Testing again, once I, I got everything and figured the system out, it's a very user-friendly interface. Anybody who's familiar with uh, modern you know, applications, is very simple. Um, not any uh, major technical calibration, things like that. You just, uh, as you can see right here, you just uh, pretty much remove the nut from your uh, right side of your uh, tie rod end, put the sensor on there, start facing up, put the nut back on there, put the uh, safety, safety pin back in there, uh, run your, your line, your line's routing is going to depend on your car. Uh, for most cars, you can go in and pull a, pull a rubber grommet back from the brake line and run it through there into the engine bay. Very easy and fast to do. They say about 15 minutes, I did it in 10 minutes, so it was very quick to do. Some of the features for the guys who haven't seen this uh, device, pretty much it just measures your drift, your drifting. Uh, it can be used as a fun device. Luke Fink and the guys using it in DCA as a measuring device as well. Um, it's in the beginning phases and again, it's doing very well in comparison to the drift box, which costs about 1500 uh, it's, it's It's faster, it's newer. It's smaller, uh, newer technology, Bluetooth, records your, your max angle, your max speed, and lets you replay everything back uh, so you can see what you did. So today at MSP, uh, what I did is I used the, um, the back corner so it could be more of a, uh, I guess, a, a controlled, controlled you know, study because it's the first time doing it. So I just kind of did like a few entries, different uh, styles, and also the tires were uh, wearing at different rates too. So as the tires heated up, it got more grip and went like faster sideways. So I think the highest entry uh, it was about 108 or 100. I don't know if it's, I got to find out if it's measured off the acceleration speed before the entry or the actual, the entry, the speed of the car while you're sideways. So at uh, other, other rate, um, you can see an increase of the angle and the uh, speed. Uh, speaking of angle, um, I use a JZX100 automatic, uh, 1JZ non-turbo, because it's the only car I had in my arsenal that was all good to go. Uh, so I used that. Uh, so I like to do it again to test it again myself. Same corner with a car that's you know a little bit more faster, a little bit more power, uh, a little bit, a lot more angle. That way you can go a lot more faster. So pretty much I was driving this thing like it was a Hachiroku to get it to work, and it, it did work pretty good. Uh, did some uh, wall rubs with the, with the grass over there as you can see, and I was actually was, I was surprised these are Toyo R1 tires. They're very grippy tires, you know. I mean, the guys use these on high power cars, and the one JNA was able to blow through it. So. Again, those to speak is all about driving style and it's pushing pretty hard. So if a car won't go sideways, you just gotta go faster, that's all. And it, it'll go sideways. So again, very quick test, uh, li very limited time. Sorry for the rush manner of the video. Um, a lot more I can say about it, but again, in a nutshell, just to, just to uh, summarize again, Drift Bit, this is from the guys over at Battleist in Australia, uh, Michael and all those guys. And it pretty much is a small team. They put in a big, you know, big, uh, big results. And then I don't want to say when it's going to be released, but I I, I got it. I have an idea of when it's going to be released. So they'll release one to the public and everything, and then this will be available. The price range will be, they're saying roughly, I, I think around 350 to 400 bucks uh, USD. So you know, convert that to whatever you are in your your place, and still with the shipping, under 500 bucks for something that can record every aspect of your drifting and play it back. It's a good tool for competition again, and it's a good tool. Uh, for yourself because I mean just just me today I've been here a bunch of times but you know I've seen where I was doing 96 kilometer entries or whatever then I was like I gotta me push it and when even it went a dash out of my comfort zone in this car because it's not fully prepped 
And I mean, if you, at 100 kilometers, if you screw up at that point, you're going off the track into the tire pit, pit and you're stuck there. Uh, so it, it's, it's a little unnerving, but it's cool to push yourself. And this device makes it possible to push yourself and record. And actually, you know, numbers don't lie. You can't, you can't, unless you want to go into the coding and you want to get petty like that and change stuff, then again, I guess they can lie. But the numbers don't lie unedited, so they're not corrected. And it is what it is. So again, uh, thank you guys for tuning in for this quick video. And that's going to be uh, Donald Jackson signing off from Motorland SP, Nanbu, uh, Morty Japan today. See you guys later. Thank Ranger Drift out.